Earl, where's my UV light? Earl! All right, welcome back, folks, and thank you for turning in, to tuning in, turning in, tuning in. Today's lesson is going to be on, yes, yet again, truss rods, man. This subject just keeps on coming up. People, uh, they're afraid to mess with their rod. <laughs> uh, wow, I'm hearing all kinds of crap about it. Setting your string action with the truss rod. You don't ever want to do that. Well, there is some cases you can move the action a little bit, but that's not what your truss rod is for. I've got videos on truss rods, only truss rods only, and I would highly recommend that you people go back and find those videos. Just search the channel for truss rod. They'll come up. And it explains a lot of things about them. Now, we was talking in the, well, I wasn't talking. I was reading in Facebook groups about, uh, you know, adjusting your rods and tightening the rod under string tension. You never, ever want to do that. There's big, big channels here on YouTube that will tell you it's okay to tighten your rod under string tension if you go in small increments. That's what every one of them says. It's okay. The ones that say that. It's not okay, man. It is not ever, under any circumstances, good to tighten your truss rod up under stress. You know, with the strings on it and it tuned up. Always loosen your strings. You don't have to take them off. But loosen them very loose. And uh, if you put a wrench on that rod and try to tighten it and it won't turn, be very careful. You should always, unless you know the truss rod, you should always loosen it. Crack it a little bit loose first and then tighten it. Put some oil on it if you can. If it's a one-way rod, if it's a one-way rod, screw the adjusting head completely off. Put one drop of three-in-one oil on that, those threads, and put it back on and adjust it wherever you need it needs to be. Of course, if it's a two-way rod, you start loosening the thing it'll get loose and then it'll start to get tight again and that's putting the back bar. you know when you tighten when you tighten it you turn it clockwise that's putting back bug this way in the neck I'm sure most of you know this but I'm sure a lot of you don't from what I'm seeing on Facebook a one-way rod you can screw the adjusting head completely off usually a two-way rod like say it'll start screwing off and it'll get loose and then you'll feel it start to get tight again. And that's when it starts to get tight again, that's putting forward bow, relief, into the neck, bending it this way. Okay? Uh, they're talking about, you know, tightening it under string stress. And one guy said he had a guitar there, it was like 30 some years old, and he put a wrench on it. He was smart enough to get the right wrench that fits. But he put a wrench on it, and he said he felt really tight to him, and it cracked, and the whole head broke off. Well, that's, <laughs> I get a lot of guitars in here because of that. I got to cut the fretboard off and put a new uh, truss rod in the fretboard where they've done that, man. You should always loosen it. If it's tight and you don't feel comfortable with it turning, loosening it, say if it's been 30 years, heat it even. Take a soldering iron, stick down in there, and heat the thing up, and heat your tool up. Drop up some oil on it, you know, and play with it. Don't just stick a wrench on it, man, under string tension and tighten it. Because, you know, very good chance that the same thing's going to happen to you. It's just going to snap the head right off of it. And then you're going to have to send the guitar to me. I've preached until I'm blue in the face. Always use a tool that fits. You know, whether it takes an Allen key head or a screwdriver or a socket, whatever. Use a tool that fits perfectly. If you got a wrench and you stick down in there, I see that would turn that rod, but look how loose it is. Check that out, man. A wrench that fits in there, I think this is five millimeter. Look at that, how tight that is. It don't move at all. That's what you want every time, except nothing other than that right there. I'm, I'm giving you fair warning, man. So, if you don't feel comfortable with turning it, okay, I can say, put your soldering iron down in there, touch it on it, let it heat for a little bit, be careful not burn the wood, and uh, put a drop of oil on it, if, even if you can't see the threads, put a drop of oil on it anyway, whether you can see the threads or not. If you can see them, try to get that oil on the threads, you know, as good as you can. Like say, some of the old uh, one-way rods, you can screw the head clear off and oil it and put it back on. The two-way rods, 
some of them you can see the threads and some of them you can't depends on what kind of adjusting head they have but you can almost always get some oil on there if nothing else spray a, a tiny touch of WD-40 down in it it'll work its way into the threads okay heat it and always if you're not comfortable with it or if it's 30 years old or you're not comfortable for whatever reason or it's 30 or 40 50 60 years old you don't know how long it's been since somebody was in there last now you know if you got a guitar laying around the house that you set up last year you know if you adjusted the truss rod that a year ago it's been adjusted and it's probably not going to be seized they seize over time and you have to use heat and oil and a lot of time and always loosen that rod don't ever don't tighten it man under pressure me and Q-Wall's here today by ourselves again uh, just uh, kicking back taking it easy I've been uh, working on a guitar neck reset and uh, well I've done done it now I'm sorry for the fan noise in the background but it got hot in here a little bit ago so I turned a little fan on that steam machine it, it's I could heat the place with it I got a video on that if you want to see my, see my steam operation just search the channel for uh, steam rig I think so it'll make it come up anyway it's a whole other thing you could probably use steam on a truss rod even but I wouldn't recommend that because that steam also swells your wood really bad and it'll probably make it rust your rod rust so I wouldn't necessarily recommend that use dry heat my soldering iron is perfect for it and like I say heat what you can see of the rod adjusting head heat that up pretty hot make sure you got oil on it after that you can put oil on it you don't have to worry about the oil catching on fire and even heat your tool man <laughs> heat the tool that fits get a tool that fits and if, and you know if it's really hard and you're not having any making any headway heat the tool also stick it in there until it goes in seat it in there as far as you can possibly get it and loosen not tighten don't ever tighten it first man loosen it first Chances are if it's going to break loose, it'll break a bigger chance of it breaking loose, loosening it with no string tension than there's ever going to be under string tension 30, 40, 50 years and you're trying to tighten it up. Big chance you're going to snap it off and break it. So don't ever do it, man. Just don't ever do it and you'll be you'll thank me. And don't use it to set your action with. You know, if you got relief in your neck and your action is fairly close depending on how much relief you got you can tighten your truss rod and bring that action down a little bit but that's not what the truss rods for do it the right way take the action down back at the saddles and the nut nut and you know let the truss rod do what it's supposed to do and in the end you'll be a lot happier a camper if you can <laughs> so that's about it for this video I think I covered everything I wanted to say you know so many people talking about the going small acre big channels Big channels tell you, go in small increments under string stress, it won't hurt. Well, <laughs> one guy on Facebook found out, he snapped his off. I don't know what kind of guitar it was, but he did uh, said he did use a tool that fitted, and he tried to tighten it, though, under string tension. He said it never even turned. He was pulling on it, and it just cracked, and it, the whole thing broke off. So now he's going to have to send it to me. And uh, I've done a lot of those. <laughs> you know, just break the, not break, but cut off the fretboard and get the old rod down out of there and put a new I always put a two-way rod back in no matter what the guitar had in it before uh, or unless I'm told not to I always uh, put a two-way rod in and highly recommend them over a one-way rod one-way rod well I can't even talk a one-way rod when you loosen it you got to rely on the string stress to pull neck relief into that neck and it don't always work Sometimes you got to put a way heavier gauge string on it than you should just to get the relief pulled into it. Leave that for a week or two or a month, however long it takes, until that neck, you know, gets used to its new form with, with relief in it. Then you can go back to your uh, little strings or whatever you use and pray that the relief stays in the neck. But with a two-way, then, you know, you can force that relief into it. If your neck don't want it, you can shove it down its throat, <laughs> so to speak. Anyway, thank you guys. I've talked about this a bunch of times and see it coming up all the time still yet today. So I thought I'd make this short video and, uh, you know, just fill you in on a few things that I probably covered in the other old videos. Like I say, go watch my old videos on that. 
and uh, there's a lot more info in them and they are this video right here and they'll probably help you but there's I don't know how many there are there's several like say search the channel for uh, just truss rod should bring them up and uh, you can look through them they're not very long videos they go right to the point and they explain everything that I could think of to put on the videos about truss rods do's and don'ts and all kind of things so look them up I highly recommend it thank you for watching Hope this helps you guys on Facebook that are having battles over your truss rod adjustments. Oh yeah. Gotta show you another trick. I just happened to think about this. I've got a crispy brand new $100 bill here. Brand new $100 bill, okay? I'm gonna roll it all up, crunch it up, and I'm gonna start shoving it right down into my hand as far as I can get it. There's no camera work involved here. This I can do this right in front of your very eyes. Shove it down in there. And it's all gone. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. Showed that trick to a guy in a bar one night. Asked him if he'd buy me drinks all night if I could make a hundred dollar bill disappear. And he said, I will buy you drinks all night. He gave me a hundred dollar bill and I did that trick. It was so funny, man. After I did it, I looked at him and his lip was quivering. And he said, can you make it come back? <laughs>